Today, I have a challenging equation for all the pre-calculus students. On the left-hand side, we have a rational function, 1 over 2 minus x. And on the right-hand side, we have a radical function, square root of x. And you know the deal. Please pause the video and try it first before you watch the solution. Done? Let me tell you, if you end up with three answers, it's wrong. You only have two. And anyways, let's go ahead and solve it. First, let me multiply the denominator to both sides so we don't have to deal with fractions. So this times that will just be 1. And then I will just put this times that. I'm not going to distribute it. Because I want to get rid of the square root. We can do so by squaring both sides. And in fact, if you want to square both sides first, that's fine too. But anyways, on the left hand side we have 1. This is a multiplication, so we can kind of like distribute the power. Square root squared cancel, so we just have x. And then we have 2 minus x squared. Work this out, so this is 1 equals x times. Square this, which is 4, minus 2 times this and that, so we have 4x here, and then plus x squared. And then I will distribute the x, so 1 equals 4x minus 4x squared plus x cubed. Lastly, minus 1 to both sides, and I will write this down first with x cubed going first. So x cubed minus 4x squared and then plus 4x minus 1. It's equal to 0. Yeah, so we end up with a cubic equation. Now what though? Well, maybe you have noticed it earlier from the original equation, when x is equal to 1, it works. 1 over 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1 is also 1, so 1 is a solution. And of course, it has to be the solution right here as well. So I will say, note that x equals 1 is a root. So that means we can go ahead and do synthetic division or polynomial division to factor this. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to first write down the coefficient. We have 1, negative 4, positive 4, and negative 1. And because x is equal to 1 in the solution, I will put a 1 right here. So first, you begin by putting down this number down here, and then you multiply this times that, which is 1, and then put it here. And for synthetic division, you add this and that, we get negative 3. And then repeat the process. This times this, this negative 3, add is 1. This times this is 1, add, we get 0. If we have the 1 right here, when we do this, at the end, we must have a 0. So. We can actually factor this now. The first factor is actually from here, x minus 1. So I'll put that down right here. And then the second factor is from here. Earlier it was x cubed. Right now, this is the coefficient for x squared. The power goes down by 1 because we divide it by x to the first power. So we will have x squared minus 3x. And this term has no x, but we just a uh, plus 1. Okay. Unfortunately, we cannot factor this quadratic anymore, but it's okay because we can use the quadratic formula. From here, of course, x minus 1 equals 0, x is equal to 1. From here, x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. We know x will be negative b, which is negative 3, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. a is 1, c is 1, over 2 times a, just like that. Okay, so x equals 3, plus or minus, this is positive 9, minus 4, so it's 5 instead of the square root over 2. 
So hey, black and red pen, what are you talking about? We have one answer, two answers, three answers. And in fact, I will tell you, if you take the positive right here, 3 plus square root of 5 over 2, this right here is positive. But if you take 3 minus square root of 5 over 2, they are both positive. Right? They are both positive. So you can plug in this and that into the square root of x. That works. But why is this tricky though? Now, the output of a square root has to be non-negative. On the left-hand side, 1 over 2 minus x, we have to be careful. We actually have to get rid of one of them. Which one? I'll tell you. We have to get rid of the one with a plus. Why? Because if we put this number to here, so know that, we have 1 over 2 minus 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, on the top is 3 right here already, plus square root of 5 is 2 point something. Divided by 2, this number here, in fact, is bigger than 2. 2 minus the number that's bigger than 2, the whole result right here is less than 0 which is impossible as an output of a square root function. Therefore, we only have two answers, x equals 1, and the other one is 3 minus square root of 5 over 2. Yeah, in fact, I was just playing around with equations. I set up a rational equation, well, including the square root. I didn't know it was working out this well and uh, really like it. And yeah, I think it's perfect for pre-calculus students. Let me know if you get this right. At the end though, I'll show you guys the graphs of these two equations.